person I know who can handle a car like that. Ah, well, it's not a patch on your sideways skills, that's for sure. Modest as always. So, what are we doing? I need a third party evaluation of the modifications to my sprint deck. So I just drifted down the runway? Let's go. A nice show for the local drift club. Just like back in the UK. There we go, that's everything shaken out and warmed up. Feel free to keep going though. The temp on those tyres is coming up nicely. Keep at it. Head back to the top if you want another run. When is the grand opening of Drift Club Mexico? Who told you about that? You're too easy, Rob. Call me for the next one, you hear? Do you have time to drop by and have a look at my Nissan? For the... thing? Sure, Rob. Anything for not Drift Club Mexico. So, what have we got here? The Nismo GTR. I do love a Nissan. One of the best drift platforms in the world. In my opinion, of course. Evidence for other opinions is welcome. Got a room. Right, let's see what this can do. It's technical. Some very tight turns along the reservoir. Rear wheel drive is perfect for this, though. Really tight set of corners come in. So, what have we got here? The Nismo GTR. I do love a Nissan. One of the best drift platforms in the world. In my opinion, of course. Evidence for other opinions is welcome. We've got a route. Right, let's see what this can do. It's technical. Some very tight turns along the reservoir. Rear wheel drive is perfect for this, though. Really tight set of corners come in.
course, this is all-wheel drive. And pricey. Usually you see them on the pro drifting circuit. Luckily, we had one knocking around the festival, so uh, I had a look at it for you. The GTR is famous as a modular platform, and that's not just because of the wheelbase and the organic grip. The PR38 DET engine is an exceptional starting point for a drift build. The stock turbos can easily make 700 bhp, you need to build for that amount of power at both ends of the intake exhaust flow, of course. In the final analysis, not a cheap drift platform, but definitely a good one. That's a good car. What's the next recruitment vehicle? Recruitment? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure. Call me. When you're over by the bridge, drop by. For you know what. I'll slide right over then. That's the Formula Drift 325. Very nice. Not stock though. Not at all. Get in. I'll tell you as we go. Rear-wheel drive, 6.2-litre V8 engine, developing 750 bhp. Custom camber for optimal entrance and exit angles. It's quite the piece of engineering. Alejandra said this was her first drift car. That makes sense. Abundant parts, reliable and easy to work on too. Oh, if you're interested in how we calculate drift scores, it's about speed and angle in the drift. That means there's a maximum theoretical value for a stretch of road, of course. Excellent lateral velocity management. That's absolutely at the top end of my projections. So, this is an interesting technical challenge. Drifting uphill. The additional inertia is a very intriguing factor in how you achieve the optimal corner approach.
before, we're running some informal leaderboards for all of these little drives, and I've worked up a few of Haley's accolades. Have a look at them. There's a bit of a reward for doing them all. I'll take a look. Call me for the next one. When you've got a moment, drop by the Copper Canyon. I thought we'd been focusing on the classics a little unfairly. So, how about this? The 2020 151 Formula Drift Supra. This is based on a 2020 Toyota GR Supra, modified by Papadakis Racing, with um, approximately 700 extra bhp. But higher baseline speed necessitates maintaining the drift at a greater lateral velocity. Here, I find, is how faster cars need to balance forward velocity against the optimal angle. You are managing it nicely. This is a really tough corner. Be ready to functionally destabilize the rear. us into the upper projection range. Tunnel ahead, you'll miss some lovely corners if you take it though. Out, but keep going for the, uh, I mean, for the leaderboards. Yes. Tell me, do you like volcanoes? What are you up to, Rob? Uh, nothing at all. Thanks for the help. I'll call you.
I've got a bit of a muscle car for you to look at. Drop by when you have a moment. A drift-rigged muscle car. I'm on my way. That's the Formula Drift Mustang. Very nice. It is. I told you this was a muscle drift, and we've got 6.9 miles of the nicest drift road I think I've ever seen to try it out on. Let's get cracking. We're dealing with a supercharged 5-litre V8, giving you a good centre of rotation, very slightly biased front, 900 bhp to push out the back. It takes some, um, pardon my jocularity, lateral thinking to build a good drift car out of a muscle platform. But I think this is a very competent attempt. for what's basically one and a half tons of 2015 Mustang GT. Just wait until you see... No, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's all downhill from here. I mean that in the topographical sense. Watch the corners though. Can't drift if we hit trees. on the projection. I think we can do better though.
one million drift points. That much tyre smoke must be visible from the city. I mean, if anyone was watching, which they're not. Time to come clean. What are you planning? Just a little something we've been working. Well, <laughs> you can wait a bit longer. You are no good at keeping secrets, Rob. You know that. Do you think you could just pop over... to Guanajuato. Be quiet, she'll hear you. Sure, Rob. Mum's the word. I see you've brought some friends, Rob. Yeah, well, just the local chapter of Drift Club Mexico. We thought we'd surprise you. There's more spectators than I expected for a secret club. Let's put on a bit of a show, then. Just turn it... Or just go straight down the stairs. Kenneth Blocks, Hoonigan, Gymkhana 10, Ford Focus, RS, RX. Two-litre, turbocharged, front-mounted engine and all-wheel drive. There's only the one seat, so I will be the voice in you ahead. Guanajuato has something of a drift culture, you know. The tunnels, the narrow streets, the cathedral square. The roads are closed, right? Oh, yes. Our newest member, Pablo, organized it. Follow the tunnels. Watch the walls. They're snaggy. <laughs> left, left and fork. Coming up on the end, and a peek at the future of drifting. <laughs> I've got a bit of a confession. You see, we've got another car for you to have a look at. Is... is that what I think it is? 
The RTR Ford Mustang Mach E1400, the first fully electric drift and Gymkhana platform. Should we take it out for a bit of a spin? This car was customised by drift legend and engineering wizard Mr Vaughan Gitton Jr. and the fine people at RTI. Why? To answer that age-old question, what is the future of controlled oversteer? What's up, Rob? Looks like you two are having a lot of fun with that car. Oh, yes. Vaughan is quite a piece of work. Could I perhaps press you for your impressions working on it? For the members. Getting behind the wheel of the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 completely changed my perspective on what power and torque can be. Together, my team at RTR Vehicles and Ford Performance spent over... over 10,000 hours working collaboratively on this to bridge the gap between what people believe an electric car can do and what it can actually do. Turns out it is well beyond my wildest expectations. The Mustang Mach-E 1400 uses seven motors, three on the front differential and four on the rear, giving us 1400 horsepower so we can do anything from drifting to high speed track racing. Every piece of aero and every duct you see is functional for aerodynamics and cooling. This car makes 2,300 pounds of downforce at 160 miles per hour. Ford has made it clear that they are bringing fun and function to the battery electric vehicle space. And this is just the start. I've watched even the most seasoned vets turn into giggly little kids behind the wheel and in the passenger seat of this wild machine. So, mission accomplished. We're almost at the end, but as you've noticed, we've been running in all-wheel drive mode with all seven motors. So, for the next bit... That was all-wheel drive. The motor layout allows you to change drivetrain, essentially, at the push of a button. So, just... Toggle it over from all-wheel drive into rear-wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, and then off we go. The fastest drivetrain swap you will ever do. Nice right-left opportunity ahead. Careful as you manage the inertia transfer. Very hard left, then right. Then sideways into the tunnel. and we're heading for where we started. On behalf of Drift Club Mexico, as well as RTR and Ford Performance, let me thank you for this show of the noble art of intentional oversteer. So, we thought you might like to keep the Mach-E. That's amazing. Won't Vaughan want it back, though? Oh, this is an exact duplicate of his. Let's just say I'm a bit excitable, too. <laughs>